Do you think that it's safe to just stay into equities and pile in here? What is the big blowout post-Fed trade? Yeah, no, I think it, I like the velvet pillows you mentioned that uh, the Fed is providing. <laughs> I love velvet pill pillows, for the record. Um, and I think Ryan's <laughs> right here. I mean, the cyclical trade is fantastic. And I think the big issue on Wall Street right now is Wall Street strategists haven't been that positive. They haven't embraced the fact that the economy is recovering. We knew it slowed down a little bit this last quarter because of the Delta variant of the COVID, COVID virus. But the reality of it is, it doesn't get better than this. You've got earnings look fantastic. Companies are telling you, yes, we have a lot of inflation right now. We've got wage inflation. We've got these supply chains. They're a mess. But don't worry. We're just going to raise prices on you, Mr. Consumer and Mrs. Consumer. Not a problem. And you've got a consumer right now that I've been saying is just like very price resilient. So I think that's kind of this magical combination. We're in kind of a Goldilocks situation. And money's just going to keep pouring into the market here. You're not going to get a correction like a lot of Wall Street strategists have said. You've got to be bullish here, Liz. Here's what he said about the word transitory. And then, uh, Ryan Payne, I want to know what your pick is. Let's listen. It carries a sense of, sh of uh, short lived. And that's, that's, you know, there's a real time component measured in months, or let's say. Really, for us, what transitory has meant is that if something is transitory, it will not leave a, behind it permanently or, or very persistently higher inflation. Um, I that uh, he kind of changed the, the paradigm for me. I thought transitory yeah. meant it's here and then it's gone. Um, but Ryan Payne, what is your pick then? Because at the moment we're starting to see semiconductors. They certainly spiked today. They had a big move yesterday. Um, is there a related stock or area that you like? Well, I think like I like the old school oil trade here, um, because if you look at peak oil demand, it's not for another decade. Um, inflationary pressure, I think it's going to continue. What does transitory mean? Are we talking about years here, Jay Powell? What's going on? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it is going to last a lot longer. I think what he's alluding to that. And I think right now, I mean, I like any trade that's sensitive to the reopening of the global economy, and oil is the most sensitive. So even though we're at $80 a barrel today, that could go a lot higher here because production, okay. you know, you're putting a lot less investment in production. That's why I like Exxon specifically. They're probably the most aggressive on the production side. So with oil prices going up, they benefit the True. most, and they're cheap. True. You know, like dirt cheap right now, energy stocks. So I think it's a great place to be to really benefit from this reopening trade. Mm -hmm.